Thank you very much, Joan Emma. Your full weather forecast brought to you by Boosted Auto and Diesel. For all your automotive, heavy truck, and equipment needs, call Ronnie at 207 659 9458. All righty, here we are. Precipitation tracking off towards these as low pressure continues to move away. Clouds continue to stick around, though. They're going to hold on for most of the day. Maybe the western ends of the state will see some sunshine sooner than the rest of us. So, so it's going to take a little bit to get this area of low pressure out of here. But once you get it out of here, a little bit of a break. But then this next system begins to approach from the west with more showers and thunderstorms possible and some heavy downpours that cannot be ruled out either. Let's check in on Fiona right now. This system is really packing a punch. Now at a Category 4 major hurricane with winds that are reaching up to around 130 miles per hour, moving to the north at about 8 miles per hour. It was already tropical storm watches up for parts of the Bermuda area. There's a little bit of an orange box there, which indicating a tropical storm watch up for them at this point. But this thing's going to be tracking off towards the north and maybe staying at around a Category 4 hurricane and getting pretty close to Bermuda as well. So I want to watch this closely. It's going to get close toward our shoreline, though, at least off the shore of Maine. But otherwise, though, we'll just have to watch for maybe some wave height issues, maybe a little bit of precipitation before we're all finished up. But we do have time to watch the system as it does develop over the next several days. Otherwise, though, the winds won't be too bad today. Maybe a quick gust up to 15 miles per hour tomorrow. Maybe a little bit more gusts up to on the way, getting up to around 20 to 25 miles per hour in a few areas. Our average high is 69 degrees. We'll be in the 60s for the next several days, so a little bit below normal, especially by Friday with highs only in the middle 50s, back up in the upper 60s by Sunday, and staying in the 60s as we head towards Monday and your Tuesday. Future cast moving forward, though, a mostly cloudy sky and today with a little bit more sunshine off toward the west. We'll get a lot of the cloud cover out of here as our next system begins to approach, though, with more showers and thunderstorms possible as we head towards your Thursday with some heavy downpours possible with some of those, these rounds of storms as well. But by Thursday afternoon, a lot of this will begin to get out of here as the winds swing out of the northwest and more clouds begin to approach. As for precipitation, plenty of precipitation on the way. Some areas can see up to an inch, maybe a little bit more before we're all finished up with lesser amounts to the north and a little bit more further down toward the south. Your forecast for today, upper 60s, mostly cloudy, some sun coming out late. The northwest wind getting up to about 5 to 10 miles per hour. For tonight, lower 50s, a few showers and thunderstorms. The south wind getting up to about 5 to 10 miles per hour. And for tomorrow, middle 60s, showers and thunderstorms likely. South wind getting up to about 20 miles per hour. Alrighty, here's a look at your extended forecast brought to you by Boosted Auto and Diesel. Lose those storms by Thursday, highs in the mid 60s. Middle 50s cooling down by Friday, a mostly cloudy sky. Lower 60s Saturday, a partly cloudy sky, and we're partly cloudy on Sunday, highs in the upper 60s.